everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and welcome to my first read read a vlog. What? <laughs> I'm JG now. Um, welcome to my first reading vlog for the Witchathon. I'm just so excited to be doing daily reading vlogs. I don't know how this is gonna go because like my week is insanely busy, but you know what? I'm excited to give it a shot. I actually just finished filming my spooky book haul. I'll link it. I think it goes right there. I'm not sure. I'll link it up above if you want to watch it. It's just basically like spooky and fall books that I picked up for this time. Uh, you guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy because there's just so many books, but I have a book buying problem and also they were all on sale, so don't judge me too hard. I have to film one more video because I'm kind of pre-filming for when I go to Argentina, but first I got my Owl Crate in the mail yesterday and I really wanted to open it for you guys on here, but oh wait, one more thing, let me tell you like my reading plans. So as far as audiobooks, I did finally start The Coldest Girl in Cold Town and I'm on chapter 12 right about now. And I am really enjoying it. This is just the perfect like paranormal read. I haven't read a vampire book in what feels like forever. And it's just, I don't know, it's giving me like those very old school vibes. It's not the best book ever, but it's just, I don't know. It, it's exactly what I want right now. So lighthearted, like not very lighthearted, but like it feels just, feels like nostalgia. Besides that, I still haven't gotten Kingdom of Ash in the mail. Yeah, I know, I'm dying. I, I, I pre-ordered it, okay, Barnes & Noble, and you still didn't get it to me in time. I'm never pre-ordering from Barnes & Noble again. Rude. <sighs> oh no, I, I mean, I already pre-ordered other things from Barnes & Noble, but like, what the hell. Instead, I didn't get to finish A Conjuring of Light before the Witch Witchathon started, and I definitely want to be finishing this because the live show is on Saturday, and... Uh, I want to watch the live show, so I have to finish the book. So I'm gonna probably be reading about like 100 or 200 pages a day of A Conjuring of Light. And I'm also gonna try and pick up Vicious today, which is my buddy read with Sophie. I just, I, instead of just like marathoning one book a day, I'm kind of in this weird headspace that maybe if I just read like 100 pages a day, I'll be good. I don't know, they're both, they're, they're both by the Queen, Victoria Schwab, so. Oh. I feel like this is just so aesthetic. That's sort of my plans for the day. I just, I have work, so I need to just kind of like get filming done, get editing done, because I want to upload my book haul before I leave. And yeah, so let's open up this owl crate. This is from October. Oh no, I don't have a knife. I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna use a pen. All right, well hopefully that didn't ruin my pen for forever. Uh, this is gonna be my last owl crate. I just don't have the budget right now to keep up this subscription So I mean owl crate if you're watching this Yeah, I don't know what that was um, so Let's open this bad boy up. So this is what I see when I first open it Let's just dive in I did kind of spoil myself. I was watching Haley and Bookland's reading vlog and she, I had been avoiding watching everyone's owl crate because for some reason everyone got their owl crate before me this month and, but I was watching her reading vlog and she was like, okay, I'm gonna unbox my owl crate. I was like, no, and I like had to run back to my phone and fast forward it, but when I fast forwarded it, it opened, it went straight to the clip where she's holding up the book. So I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but I'm pretty sure there's also two books in this box. Oh, the print is so cute. It has like this floating teacup and, it's pouring tea and she's reading a book called Witches and I'm just into it, a little book stack and everything. So the theme for this month is Lost in the Bookstore. This is obviously the spoiler card so I'm not really gonna read it because you guys know how I feel about spoilers. So we knew we were getting a pair of socks this month and they are just so stinking cute. They're from Underlined, times out of print and they're book, nor book nerd socks and it just has little books on them in teal and white and I am obsessed with socks like they are really some of my favorite things ever so these look super soft and comfy I kind of like want to put them on right now but I'm gonna I'm gonna restrain myself so I'm really excited about this this is actually so fantastic so we're already off to a good start oh cute so next we have a choco mint truffle I'm assuming this is like a tea or hot chocolate I think it's tea yeah it is so it's from The Tea Spot, and I really love tea. I've never had chocolate tea though. I'm very much more of like a green tea kind of person or uh, Earl Grey if like my mood goes for it. 
but I'm excited to try it out. I'm always willing to try new teas. I love hot drinks, especially in the winter. Oh, this is perfect. Because this is obviously a loose tea. Um, I have like a thing for it, I just have never used it. But they actually gave us, I think, a tea strainer. That's so cool! I've been wanting one of these for forever because obviously I love tea and I have a ton of loose teas and it's just a whole effort to put it in the other thing that I have and this is perfect. It's just a cute little like heart with an arrow through it and I think it was made by Owlcrate and it's Love of Reading Tea Strainer. Yeah, it's an Owlcrate exclusive. Brew mug of delicious tea with this special tea strainer. That's so cute and it's silicon which is nice. I don't like like the, the hard ones. Oh, it's a print! Oh, it's a Harry Potter print. Oh, it's super cute. It's super simplistic too. What would they what would the mirror of Erised's reflection show if you gazed into it? We have a feeling for many of us it would be a pile of books and a letter to Hogwarts. Michelle Gray illustrated this adorable exclusive print. That's so cute. And the silicone heart was actually also designed by Michelle Gray, so that's interesting. That's adorable. I'm very much into that. You guys know how I feel about prints already. I'm really liking everything in this box so far. Obviously we have the little button for this month. This It just has the, the girl on it, so. All right, this is the book that I did spoil myself for, so I'm just like gonna close it so I don't see the other book. And that is Pride by Ibi Zaboy. This is Pride and Prejudice just remixed. I, I, I really don't know that much about it. I've never read Pride and Prejudice to begin with, so I feel like I'd wanna read Pride and Prejudice first because I really like so retellings, I would rather know the first, the original telling, that way I can catch all the hints and like the little drop is, drops of the original story in there. We have what looks to be like a bookmark, a bookmark, why did I say it like that? So we have a little bookmark, a letter from the author, and oh, oh my god, <gasps> that's Gorgeous! It's the same thing that's right here. That's fantastic! Wow! People put a lot of effort into this book. And it's signed! That's so cool. That's what I was looking for. That's fantastic! I'm really excited to get to this. I've heard actually really great things about it. I think that Haley Bookland's actually already read it and she said that it was really great. But I think she's actually read Pride and Prejudice and I haven't so I want to read that first. Oh my god, I just like looked down and saw the book that's in here so let's just grab it. <laughs> because there's two and it's Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. Julie Kagawa, that's a very like familiar sounding author. Hmm, this book looks gorgeous. Oh my god. I'm so into this aesthetic. It's me. Look at that fox. Look at this book. It's like metallic. Ooh, I'm so into this. Okay, we got a bookmark and a letter from the author. And I wonder if it's said. It is! That's really cool. Okay, I've, I've never heard of this book. I honestly don't know what it's about. It says, 1,000 years ago, the great Kami dragon was supposed to grant a single terrible wish, and the land of Iwagoto was plunged into an age of darkness and chaos. A dragon book? <gasps> oh, I have been looking for good dragon books, honestly. So, uh, if it's anything like that, I'm into it. Oh, she was the best-selling author of The Iron Fae. I've heard of that series. I don't think I've ever actually read anything about it, though, so that's so interesting. A fox shapeshifter sworn to hide a mysterious scroll. I'm into that. I, <laughs> hmm. A secret assassin under orders to kill to obtain it. I'm into that too. Oh my god, I hope they fall in love. <laughs> okay, um, this sounds really cool. I barely know anything about it. Again, I don't think I want to know anything about it. I like going to things kind of blind, so it's really awesome though that we got two whole books in this box. That's insane, actually. Ooh, alright. And then we also got... <gasps> Oh, is this like a book sleeve? I'm not sure if it's a book sleeve or if it's just a pouch. Either way, I mean, I think you can use it as a book sleeve if you want to, or use it as a pouch if you want to. It's a canvas clutch purse. We created this pouch so that it was big enough to fit most small books so you can pre protect your reads on the go. And it's exclusively designed by Bookworm Boutique. The design is actually super cute on it. I like how simple it is. So books are uniquely portable magic. And then on the back, it has just like 
leaves going up. It's really cute and simple. I would definitely use this as sort of a book sleeve. I probably wouldn't use it as a clutch. I don't like clutches because I don't like clutching onto things. I want things to just hang. That way I don't forget it places because I will forget this if I just carry it around. So I really enjoy this. This is cute. It's a very like usable item. And then we have obviously the pamphlet with all the information. So what they changed about the book. Oh, the regular one had it was teal while this one is pink. I do actually think I prefer the pink, which is interesting because you guys know I don't really like pink. That actually makes me wonder if in the original this is teal, like the background of this. And well, ooh, look at that. That's so cool. Wow. I'm I'm very like just the effort put into this book makes me intrigued to pick it up because if you put that much effort into making it a gorgeous book, it has to be fantastic inside. I mean, here's hoping, right? No. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, I like owl crates better. So the regular one was black and red, and the owl crates is just like more red than black. And I feel like I like owl crates better because it makes it look super metallic. Like the red is a metallic kind of red. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe if like you're looking at the back, kind of. Yeah. And I wonder if like the normal version is like that, who knows? And it just has information about the authors, and then it has the photo challenge, and stuff like that. Oh god, I kind of want to stay subscribed for the November box now, no. It's, the theme for next month is gonna be Rise from the Ashes, and sneak peek, it's gonna have, every November box will include an exclusive wax seal kit from Team Owl Crate. I want a wax seal kit. I was so sad that I'd unsubscribed to Fairy Loot the month before they gave a wax seal kit because I don't know what I'd use it for but I want one. I just, oh that's so cool. I know I said that this is like my last month but stressed. I don't know. You guys let me know what I should do. I, I, I don't know what to do. That's kind of it for right now. I do have to film another video so um, yeah. I'm really into this lipstick. I don't want to take it off. Boo. All right. I will see you probably after I'm done filming my other video. Bye-bye. All right. So I just finished filming that other video that I had to do, and I already edited all my footage from before from this reading vlog and for the spooky book haul. So yeah, I officially have no excuses, and I think I'm going to pick up one of these two. I'm not sure which one yet. I might just read the first chapter and see which one catches me more and then read from there. But yeah, I have to leave for work in like an hour. So I have enough time to just like get some reading done, chill out. I'm going to go check the mail and just like pray that Kingdom of Ash is there. It's probably not though. So yeah, that's sort of it for this update. I'm not sure if I'll be able to update you tonight. Hopefully I will though. <sighs> I'm like really hot. It's so hot. All right, well, I'll see you guys later. Okay, hey everyone. So I'm actually about to go to sleep and I figured I would give you sort of like a reading update for everything that I ended up reading today. I listened to a little bit more of The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. I'm now on chapter 19. So I'm about, uh, I'm almost to the halfway point. So that's really cool. I'm actually really enjoying it. Again, it's giving me all those like just high school like paranormal vibes that you know what I am not ashamed to say that I missed sometimes and I started Vicious by V Shop. I'm only on page 30 but I'm really enjoying it I also started A Conjuring of Light but I'm only on like page two so that doesn't really count uh it wasn't a great reading day I didn't get a chance really to read before going to work I was kind of busy booking a hotel and everything because I'm going to California on Monday and I hadn't done that yet. I know. And, uh, yeah. And obviously I couldn't read at work. So yeah, not a bad start, but definitely not a great one. Hopefully tomorrow is a lot better. I definitely want to finish at least one book tomorrow, but it's unlikely I did get a package in the mail tonight and I'm not going to open it up right now just because I just I'm not ready for that kind of excitement. I'm way too tired for it. So tomorrow stay tuned because I think we all know what that package is. Yeah. All right. And that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed my first day of the Witchathon. It is a full moon tonight and I'm really excited about it. Um, I have crystals that I've never charged before so this would be a good time to do it. I just need to find a good place that my cats won't knock them over. So 
yeah. I I don't want to do my, like, my normal outro since I'm going to be making videos every single day this week. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.